Hello and welcome back to our lab. Today we introduce a most interesting and powerful ally in our laboratory, the power supply. Your workbench is provided with two such power supplies. The power supply is an equipment that uses a lot of electronics to behave as close as possible as an ideal source. An ideal source, you ask? You mean an ideal voltage source, right? No because this uh, power supply can work within a certain limits, either as a voltage source or as a current source. Let me elucidate. The power supply on our workbench is actually three sources, two adjustable ones, the left and the right one, and a fixed source in the middle uh, that we will use in the future. Today we focus ourselves on the adjustable sources. For that, let's target the source on the left. Associated with that left source, there is one display that reads volts and amps, a power button, two terminals, a red and a black one, and three control knobs. To set the voltage limit, we use two knobs, the course control, to bring the value in the vicinity of the target voltage and then the fine control to zero in on the actual voltage that we want. To set the current limit, there is only one knob. Let's consider its use as a 5 volt uh, voltage source as long as the current does not exceed 1 amp. First, power on the power supply with this global rocker switch while keeping the actual source on the left off with this button so that we have a reading for setting purposes but the circuit connected to the terminals is not powered yet. With the two voltage control knobs set the voltage as per the display up to 5 volts and then with the current knob and again checking the display set the current limit to 1 amp done. The power supply will behave now as close as possible to an ideal 5 volt source. Well, as long as the current does not exceed 1 amp or whatever other value you have chosen as your current limit. A natural question is, what happens if the circuit tries to drain more than 1 amp out of this 5 volt source? Does it shut itself down? No, it does not. It does something radical. It becomes a 1 amp current source. Uh, well, as long as the voltage does not exceed the voltage settings, uh, 5 volts in our case. So, we can see the power supply as either a voltage source with a current limit or as a current source with a voltage limit. Hmm. This deserves some additional explanation, right? Let's go into graphics. Here is a voltage versus current plot. An ideal 5 volts voltage source would have this perfectly horizontal and infinite linear characteristic. See, at any current, the voltage is always 5 volts. And here is the voltage versus current plot of an ideal 1 amp current source. Its current is 1 amp at any voltage value. Finally, here is the plot corresponding to our power supply adjusted for 5 volts and 1 amp. The voltage is 5 volts as long as the current does not exceed 1 amp or the current will be 1 amp as long as the voltage does not exceed 5 volts. That means that the point of operation of the power supply will always be on the semi-square in the figure in red, either on the top when it's a voltage source or on the left side as a current source. Let's make sure that this was understood with a numerical example. Eh? If we connect a 1 ohm resistor to the power supply and we set the voltage to 5 volts and the current to 1 amp, 
what is the actual current and the actual voltage across the resistor? Uh, that is the question. You may pause the video and uh, meditate about this and come up with an answer. One ohm resistor, uh, the power supply set for 5 volts, 1 amp. What is the actual uh, voltage? And what is the actual current and the power supply? Another resistor, of course, because it's the same. If your answer was 1 volt and 1 amp, you are right. The point of operation of the power supply has to be either in this horizontal region or in this vertical region. Its voltage cannot be 5 volts because that would imply a current of 5 amps and that is way outside of our graphic. So we have to be on the vertical segment and the current has to be 1 amp which implies again Ohm's law. A 1 Ohm a 1 amp, 1 volt. The voltage is a 1 volt and the current is 1 amp. And that is all about this power supply. Good luck with your experiment and I see you in two weeks.